and welcome to Savannah Alalea TV. This is where you create headspace for your happiness in your business, your life and in the world. And today's quick query comes from Kate and Kate writes, Hi Savannah, I've got to say I really enjoy your site and the advice that you share in your videos. So thank you for that. No, thank you Kate for writing in. I'm currently in a full-time employment in the city. I really love what I do but I long to branch out on my own and become my own boss. I have to be honest here though and say I'm scared in so many different ways. Mainly I'm scared about being able to stay motivated being self-employed. I of course love to feel motivated but usually it takes me ages to get inspired and I have to run with it when it comes. But first I feel nervous that it's some that it's not something that I can sustain myself. So I'd like to ask for a few pointers on how to stay motivated when you work for yourself. Thank you in advance, Kate from the city. Kate, what a great question. Thank you so much for asking this one. It's, it's a really, really important one, especially if you're looking at becoming self-employed and actually for anybody who already is self-employed, this is a powerful question. Now, there are lots of aspects when it comes to starting your own business, but you've specifically asked about motivation. So that's top of your mind and that's what's going to be top of mind when answering this question. So I want to talk to you about the three myths around motivation when you are in business for yourself that I've discovered from the last 20 years of being in business. Myth number one, motivation is something that is very difficult and serious by yourself. Now, I feel that motivation should actually be really fun. And I'm so pleased that you've asked this question, actually, Kate. I, one of the things that I do when I feel stuck or when I get into a space of feeling unmotivated is I will literally jump up and wriggle it out to some music. Because after all, motivation is about keeping moving. And if you don't feel like you can get up and jump around and really let loose, then I would encourage you to take a look at this fellow. Hi, I'm Sean Stevenson, and I have to warn you, what you're about to see is going to be intense. And, well, just say you've been warned. It's going to start off really simple. Your shoulders right now. And you might think, what is he doing? Why is he doing this? Because it gets your body moving and it makes your spirit feel good. So we're moving the shoulders. And then we're going to start to get the arms in board. Good. It's called a dance party. And we're going to take it up a notch in a moment. All right, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, he's gone crazy. And I have, because life is meant to be enjoyed. I absolutely love this video. It cracks a smile from me every single time. And as soon as I'm laughing, as soon as I'm smiling, I can start moving. And as soon as I get moving physically, everything else just starts to flow out of me. And hey, if he can wriggle it out in a chair, then so can you. I dare you to give it a go. Now, if I'm perfectly honest, it can be quite easy to get distracted by getting motivated and moving through dance. So I try to keep it to about three or four times a day. Myth number two, Kate. Now, myth number two, I love this one. Myth number two is that motivation is something that you get. Uh, mm -mm, I don't think so. Motivation is something I believe you generate, not something you collect from anywhere. Motivation is the result of consistent food for your body, mind and soul. Things like a 15 minute dance break that will lift your body and your spirits. Things like good mental food will help inspire you. 
If I like to keep a folder on YouTube of videos that really motivate me, and if I really, if I really hit a mental wall, I will literally stop for 15 minutes and just pop one of those on and get refreshed mentally, and then I will carry on with what I'm up to. So I'd recommend that you hit save when you come across things that really light you up so that you can, you can go back to them. And the tweetable for today's episode is motivation is something you generate. Now on to myth number three. Motivation is something that you have to find alone. Now, I really like this one because, again, this is something that I struggled with in the early days of being self-employed with my motivation. I believed that I had to do it all by myself. And whilst it's true I needed time to focus in on the work by myself, what I actually found was when I was starting projects or really beginning to open things out in my business, it was something that I needed other people for and having other people's input was really, really valued at this point. Now, I, I could, I'm already hearing you say, hey, Savannah, I'm just getting started. I can't afford to employ anybody. That's not what I'm saying. So let me just clarify this point because it's such an important one. If you're in the early stages of your business and you're just kicking things off, it's really powerful to put yourself into what's referred to as a mastermind. This is something that many great leaders and people who started up companies did at the very early stages of their business or their careers. They find themselves five or six people who are like-minded and who are committed to growing their business as well. Now, a mastermind is where you meet regularly and you bring your ideas and you bring your plans and you discuss them and you also have action points that you're then accountable to those people on a regular basis. Now, a great way to start a mastermind, if you're not sure of four or five people that you can think of, um, is to actually jump on meetups.com and go along and have a look at what's available in terms of business meeting and networking. One thing that's really powerful with this is connecting with the right people. Now, you know those people because you'll recognize them when you meet them. They are something that I call like a heck yes inside when you meet them, like every part of your body gets excited um, and you're interested in what they're saying. You find them mentally engaging, mentally, what I call, I call it mentally delicious and you really enjoy conversations with them. That's the kind of person who's aligned with your morals, who's aligned with your intentions. That's great to do a mastermind with. And believe me, this is a game changer when you get this in place. And it's a super great way to stay motivated in your business without needing to start off by employing anybody. Having that to-do list and meeting with that mastermind group regularly and discussing uh, projects, discuss, discussing questions, discussing how your business is evolving will help keep you on point and on track with having your business grow effectively and keep you super motivated as well. And what you'll find, Kate, is you'll be surprised at how inspired you'll be by this regular, consistent connection with a mastermind group. Everything from suggested reading material that might come up to just answers to questions that maybe you wouldn't have necessarily thought of. Um, so it's a really exciting way to get that feedback without having to hire anybody and obviously also offer um, to other people the same thing from you. So Kate, that's my answer to your quick query. I really hope it helps and I wish you every success in your new venture and look forward to hearing how you get on. Do stay in touch. Now, I want to ask you, do you run your own business and how do you stay motivated? Which practices keep you on your game and where do you go for your inspiration? Share with us in the comments below. And if you're watching this anywhere other than savannahallelea.com, come on over and subscribe. You'll immediately get sparkling habits. You can start applying straight to your inbox as well as a few extras I love to share in writing. If you've enjoyed this video and you feel that it could support somebody that you know to live and unlock their potential, then please feel free to share it forward and hit the like button.
Remember, now is your time to shine. Do what you love. Live your life on purpose and keep bringing your flavor of awesome into this world. You can light up this world in ways that you can't yet see. So let's go and illuminate this world together. Thank you so much. Take care and talk soon. Meditate Your Mind is coming soon. Are you ready to get the reins on your mind? Jump on the waitlist at www.meditateyourmind.com. Hello, flowers. You're looking rather delightful. when you get that stuck feeling. I think we need to have a little bit of a dance. Get a little bit of movement going on. It's gonna feel better.